Hello coders, welcome back again to day 4 session of Mastering Spring Cloud Microservice Playlist. So in this video, we are creating our blog microservice and we are register our blog microservice to service discovery. So we are create the whole project of from scratch using Spring Initializer and whatever important dependency we required, we add that and create the whole project. Okay. So basically there are three ways to create a Spring Boot application. One using Spring Initializer. Second one using Spring Boot CLI command. You can create a Spring Boot application using any ID like IntelliJ or Eclipse. Okay. So we are using Spring Initializer, which is one of the easiest way to create Spring Boot project. So click on first link. After that, you need to select which version of which language you build your project. So we are using Java. After building tool, we are using Maven over there. And you need to select any stable version. Currently, uh, 3.2.5 is a stable version. After that, in a project metadata, group is nothing but reverse of your domain. For example, if our domain name uh, devbytespool.com, you need to use school. After that, so Artified is nothing but your project name. So our project name is blog service. service. So any description, you give any description like it is a blog microservice, blog service. After that, the package name will be created in this fashion, form.devbytespool.blog service. After that, you need to select package, you need to go for war or jar. If you deploy your project to a Tomcat server, you need to select a war over there. And if you directly run your jar file and you want embed Tomcat in that, okay, you go for a jar. After that, you need to select a Java version, okay? After that, we have to add important dependencies uh, for our project. So let's try to add some of the common dependency. One is web, which is enable RESTful web service in our project. Then Lombook, okay? That help to don't write unnecessary codes like getter, setter, and cursor, all those stuff. Then uh, actuator for checking health of our project. After that, dev tools to automatic restart our project. After that, we are using a Mongo database. For that, we have to add a dependency. So search Mongo, MongoDB. Okay, this is reactive. Okay, you have to select a normal MongoDB. Okay, Spring Data MongoDB. After that, uh, let me check if we miss anything. I guess uh, each and everything we added. I think we're done with all our important dependency. After that, click on generate. After you click on generate, one zip file will be created. So we need to create comment service also. So let's use this uh, configuration and create comment also. That's save our time. Comment and then comment. Let's me and uh, comment service. Okay. And click on generate. So let's jump to our download folder. So in this download folder, blog and co comment zip will be created. Just unzip that two stuff. So after unzipping, you have to create one workspace and paste project over there. So let's copy this. I already create one workspace over there. Just paste over there. Okay. After successfully pasting the project in our ID, we need to open that. So click on open, browse the specific contain and open that project and click on new window. So it will be open the whole project on new window. It's take time to build the whole stuff. So in our mastering in a Spring Boot playlist, we create a blogging website already. And that is a monolithic project. And in this playlist, we convert that monolithic architecture to a microservice architecture. Okay. So it's contain the whole those information like uh, in a model class, we have dedicated blog model over there, comment model over there, user over there. If you don't have knowledge of Spring Boot and if you learn that we already create one playlist that contain almost uh, that contain almost 27 videos covering each and every topic link in the description. You go and check it out. So what we are doing over here, we are segregating the all stuff to our microservice project. Basically, we are copying that because it save our time because here we are not focusing on a uh, coding part here we're focusing on a cloud level microservice level configuration stuff okay so let's uh, copy each and everything so i skip a copy paste part uh, to save our time so but i will explain one by one what exactly things i copy so first i copy the model class the blog model class contain id title blog description then that blog publish or not when the blog, blog is uh, publishes when the blog is updated okay after that we create one repository interface 
uh, which extend with Mongo repository because we are using Mongo database over there. After that, we create service class. That's the service class contain all necessary methods like create block, update block, delete block, get block with respect to ID, get list of blocks with respect to pagination request. And uh, at the end, uh, we create a controller over there. Okay. In that controller, we have all method like push, put, then get, then delete, get all details. Okay. And with respect to that, we create one DTO over there to handle request and response. And after that, um, for custom exception handling, we create one custom exception package and add all our important uh, custom exception over there. The detailed coding description I already explained in Spring Boot playlist. I think one error is coming. Uh, let me check what exactly error is coming which is uh, so we forgot to add a validation annotation so let's jump to our form file and let's copy the uh, validation annotation from there let's copy this stuff and let's jump over here open a form file okay and paste the dependency okay click on save and click on maven after that click on read project so it download the important dependency so that uh, error also removed after that we have to create what database to store a blog information so let's jump to a chrome i already logged into mongo dashboard or you can use a free resource from there for a learning purpose when you log in to a mongo dashboard this type of uis come here you need to create a click on you need to go to database okay click on a build database so in build database you have to define your uh, project name Okay, so our project name is block service. After defining the project name, if you want to give any tag, you give that like it is a block service. Missing is contained in a block project. After that, click on create and deploy. I think uh, we select a paid resource. Click on a free resource. This is a free resource contain 112 MB. Click on create. After clicking a create, start uh, creating your database. Okay, it's telling to create a username. Okay, so give the username as a root, password also as a root, create database user. Okay, and here we get all those information, data connection, all those stuff. Okay, that is not necessary. Close this. After creating a database, you need to give a network access. So click on network access, click on add. After adding, we, here we, we use this for learning purpose. So it's accessible for all system and just name as a local access because our IP changes as we connect to multiple Wi-Fi system like dedicate to mobile and other uh, systems. So if it is learning purpose, just give access to all ports to give access to all IPs. So yeah, database access already user we created. Okay, so let's jump to our project and open a properties file. So in a properties file, we copy the Mongo configuration. So our project name is block service. Just rename with block service. Copy this block service to here also database name. After that, for block service, we define port 8080. If you define any port, okay. And we uh, give a dedicate name to our block service, which is a block service. After that, one of the important configuration is a Eureka client. So our block service, which is registered with a Eureka. So for that purpose, we we defining register with Eureka is equal to true. And fetch registry is equal to true means what this block service fetching the information from a Eureka service. Okay, let's understand from a architecture. Okay, so this block microservice registered with service registry means Eureka. And whatever information we need, we are receiving from a Eureka servers because we need to communicate with different microservices because block microservice communicate with comment microservice. So it is not communicate directly to comment microservice. It uh, communicate via service discovery. Okay. So for that reason, this two configuration required. And we're saying that our Eureka server deploy on localhost 8761 port and default host name is a local host. So let's run this application and check everything's working fine or not. So we see one error over there, okay, which is it's not able to connect a Eureka server. That is a valid error because we not yet configure our Eureka server. In a day six video, we configuring that. Yeah, that's it from today's video. If you have any question, please write down comment. We will try to address that. If you still not subscribe to our channel, I highly suggest you subscribe to our channel, click on bell icon. So whenever we upload new playlist video, you get a notification of that.
with that we create one telegram group in that group we sharing into tips and tips our video updates and important resource so join that group let's meet on day 5 video till then keep learning keep upskilling happy coding